well we're in our left viewport and this is the piece of geometry that we're going to be creating it's the air intake now I do know on later versions of the Messerschmitt 109 um, this did alter somewhat but this is the one that we're going to create okay so let's get cracking well we can start off with a box let's drag it out to about there and push back to give it some depth and let's have a look at our parameters we're okay with the length, the width and the height for the time being I just want to have a look at the length segments, we've got it down as three so that's one, two, three yeah I'm happy with that okay what we're going to do is convert it to an editable poly convert to editable poly let's just put it into transparency mode first of all and maybe even give it another color we'll go with grey say ok on that right so we're ok with the length there let's start by converting this again to an editable poly I'm doing that because it wasn't bringing this up and what I'm looking for is the swift loop let's start making some subdivisions here um, I can see just about that that section there is a division so I'm going to put one in there and here we've got two sections uh, with grids or grills and they're set back so I'll put a division there say one there that one there one there and finish this off just here okay we have that part let's right click to end this action and get rid of the swift loop let's pop into vertices now and we'll select these back ends press R for our scale tool and let's just pinch that down a little bit there go alt and let's deselect these two there W for our select and move tool let's just pull these back a little bit like that now let's pop into our perspective viewport pull back just a little bit because we're going to have to kind of sort this out as we can see it's a little bit too wide in the depth section okay let's pop up to um, the root we're just going to pull this out a little bit say to about there for the time being back into vertices let me select those there and I'm going to pull those back just a little bit zoom around deselect because what I want to do is select these here now um, this actually slopes backwards so let's take that there into our polygon and what I need to do is pop around to the back section I'm going to put ignore back facing on now select that because we don't want select to move so that we'll be dragging polygons all over the place and let's select all these all the way up to the end there just check make sure that we haven't inadvertently selected any others no we haven't okay let's delete those then now what I want to do is grab those edges there so let's pop along here just like this what we can do is select all those there like that then press alt deselect all those in that area and that should just leave us with the edge there then I need to keep pressing alt and deselect those down there lovely now we're going to pop down and do an extrude it's brought it up at one and actually you know that doesn't look too bad so we're going to say okay let's accept that 
deselect this for a moment I'm going to select and come up to root because I want to select the fuselage alt X to get rid of transparency let's select this now alt X to get rid of transparency and a couple of things but really it needs to be rotated a little bit so let's just take the rotation make sure our angle snap is off I just want to bring this round so that it's all out from the fuselage W for our select to move to let's pull that back in a little bit back around rotate which is E on our keyboard let's just bring that again there and maybe just a little bit talk about having a steady hand W for our select to move and let's bring that out to there ok now back into our swift loop there we go and I want to put some in now just there and there let's put some around that edge there some strengtheners in there and there have we got them underneath as well yes they have lovely so that's not too bad I'm just going to apply a very quick turbo smooth to see how it stands up to it that's not too bad at all jolly good ok let's delete that turbo smooth and pop into polygon I want to make sure that we've got our select ignore back facing is on and we can select those three there press control select those there thank you and let's pop down and do an extrude it's going to bring it out we want to zero that out and turn it down to a negative about there say ok into edge now we need to get in close here because we have to strengthen these edges around here let's get in there ok let's select that one press shift select those down there select that one in the corner there and round and while we're here might as well do these down here as well saves us changing our angle again in fact we'll get the outside edge as well around there then pull around pressing control again let's get that one up in the corner there that one in that corner and these coming down here now likewise there just pan around a little bit let's have a look one down in that corner there that one there that corner and there. Okay, quick check to make sure that everything's selected. Yep, let's pop down now and we're going to go for a chamfer. Not a great deal. Let's have a look. Zero that. And let's just bring it out a little bit. About so much. Say okay. Now then, let's have a look here yep it's not too bad okay well let's try that turbo smooth again just a little bit down there not happy with okay and let's pop in here have a look we missed a section down there so I'm gonna press control Z which is basically an undo 
so rather than popping up there control Z undoes it and control Y is the redo what I want to do is select that one in that corner there and that one in that corner there you see we miss those I like that wee business what's this weed Kimo Sabi do the chamfer say OK and now we'll try the turbo smooth and there we go that's a lot better okay now we need to just do a little bit more around there so let's pop over and remove the turbo smooth deselect for a moment and let's zoom in yep so we're on edge let's select these edges around here um, press control pop round like that and we'll say chamfer drop that one say ok Let's try that turbo smooth again. Nope. Let's bring it out into polygon. So like these here. One. Press control. And let's try an inset. Just bring that in a little bit more. Say to there. Say OK. Let's try that turbo smooth again. That's better. Now there is a cover that goes over this, so let's now convert this down to an editable poly. Okay, well, mindful of the time, we'll call that it for this session and we'll get this completed in the next. Okay? I'll catch you later.